Uh, hello, and welcome to the Foundation DB Summit. <clears throat> no, no slide changes? Great, okay. <clears throat> Thank you all for coming. I am, or, we have a wonderful schedule prepared for you today. There are some interesting pieces of our schedule that I wanted to walk through first. So we have our little mini orientation session first, and then I will talk to you about community. This is orientation. I am Alex Miller. If you have been on our forums or on our GitHub project and dealt with issues or PRs and a wonderful, happy golden retriever puppy has responded to you, that is me. It is very nice to meet you. Um, <clears throat> so for today, we are currently here in the main track. This is ballroom five. And we are here to listen about the good things coming in the future. There is a place in the schedule where we split into two groups. Half the time we are a one-track event, half the time we are a two-track event. I claim that this averages out to a one-and-a-half-track event. Case studies and real-world FTB will be occurring in this room, again, ballroom number five. <clears throat> FTB internals and building layers will be occurring in ballroom eight. Ballroom eight is out the doors to the left, go essentially through this wall, through the next wall over. Those of you that are astute listeners and can do subtraction will realize that I've given you two rooms over for a number that's three away. Don't worry about it. Ballroom six is behind me. I did not write these numbers. It is what it is. <clears throat> With these two sections of two tracks, we have four experiences that are available today. For anyone that has not gone through the schedule in detail and made up their mind of where to already be, let me offer some suggestions. If you are here and you are new to FoundationDB, then this is the room for you. <clears throat> you will get case studies, which is the stories of problems where FTB was a good solution. And then you will stay for real world FTB of hearing about people's real production deployments of FoundationDB, how to run them, and what you'll need to know. If you are here as a person who is interested in development, then the other room is for you. You'll get to hear details of FoundationDB internals and then of the details of writing layers on top of FoundationDB. These talks will assume some familiarity with FoundationDB already. If you're only interested in layers development and 40 minutes of storage engine talks probably isn't going to meaningfully change your life, then stay in this room learn how users will likely try and use your layer, and then head to the other room to get the wonderful collective layers wisdom. If you're here with an SRE or operations hat on, then you'll want some knowledge of how FoundationDB works internally, and then come back for the real tales of production deployments. <clears throat> we have two lengthy breaks, an hour lunch, and a reception. This was done very intentionally. Our wonderful presenters have prepared information-packed presentations for you, but there's tremendously more information and stories about FoundationDB in the heads of everyone around you. This room has more collective FoundationDB knowledge than anywhere else in the world right now. I implore you to leave your table of safety the table that you sat down with all of the people that you came here with and you already know everyone around you, and venture out and meet new people and talk to them. So to facilitate this happening, during breaks, I will be over there. I am your social coordinator. For the majority of you in this room, we have already met or I will recognize you from the forums. This means that I am in a position where for any question or curiosity that you may have, I can likely point you to the best person or people to talk to, to get answers. <clears throat> Please come ask me, otherwise I will be lonely in my corner. We will also have two other ways to engage with others at this conference. For each talk, I will be opening a thread for extended discussion on the forums. I edited this, which I did not post due to the technical difficulties that you saw earlier. I will do immediately after my talk ends. <clears throat> But the goal of this is so that the informations or the presentations that you see today will not just be a one-way information transfer, but can be the beginning of a conversation. In addition, OpenLand is a chat platform that not only has a pre-existing FoundationDB channel with over 300 members, 
but is also a company based on Foundation DB. Their CTO, Steve Korshikov, is here today as one of our presenters in the real world FDB track. <clears throat> to return to today, there are the other parts are a series of short talks and words from our sponsors during lightning talks. We end the day again in this room, ballroom five, to hear our takeaway summary presentations, and then we have our reception. And that's the summit. Thank you to all of our, pre our presenters who spent the long hours preparing and rehearsing your slides for the wonderful presentations that you'll see today. Thank you to our sponsors for supporting the existence of this event. And thank you to all of you for coming and being wonderful members of our community. <clears throat> so let's talk about community. I've gone back through all of the forum posts that have been made and everything that shows up when you search GitHub for FoundationDB and tried to put together a list of everything that happened up to and including the FoundationDB 2018 summit and then between the 2018 summit and now. If I missed anyone's project or a company list or anything is wrong with this list, I'm terribly sorry. I gave it a good effort. <clears throat> I will leave this slide up for a while as a free vision test to everyone, so don't worry too much. Um, there's, there's two parts of this slide that I would like to highlight. Upon the open sourcing, our community did a fantastic job of going through and filling in bindings, and you see this massive bindings list under 2018 Summit. <clears throat> I particularly enjoyed finding the few repos that were from like 2014 and 2015 that then about within a week after the open sourcing happened immediately updated to the new version, which was both very timely and very impressive. <clears throat> um, since the 2018 summit, you'll see that like there's continued to be good work on bindings being done, but there's also been this explosion of layers. And <clears throat> with the problem of how to talk to foundation to be solved, people are now free to go work on more complex use cases and actually trying to solve real problems. Second is that there is a significant increase in the number of companies that are here to talk to you about their foundation to be usage or evaluation. eBay, OpenLand, IBM Cloud, Axtrom, Goldman Sachs are all here to do that. Triggering my LinkedIn searches or my LinkedIn watches for the Foundation Me keyboard are Segment and Branch, who are also recruiting and hiring for Foundation Me related roles, wink, wink. Um, <clears throat> I'm really happy to see both personal projects and corporate involvement in Foundation to be increasing over time. I also think that this slide highlights a couple problems that we need to work on. How many of you knew that these projects existed? Like, if I hid this slide, could you recreate it? And like, no, I could not either. I had to spend time going through and trying to compile this, and it was surprised by some of the results. So I think there's two important tasks that all of you can help with. If we're going to get everyone in the world to use FoundationDB, then we need some social proof that FoundationDB is a good thing. And if we're going to get people to be contributing and reusing and giving back to the community, then we need better organizations so that we can actually discover and reuse these projects. So <clears throat> for social proof, using FoundationDB is an investment. For any database, using anything is an investment. If it's a personal project, it's an investment of time. If it's a corporation, it's an investment of money. Anyone looking at FoundationDB and wondering if they should try it out will want to know who is using FoundationDB, how are they using FoundationDB, and most importantly, how can I replicate their success for myself? Our real-world FDB track is a good step in this direction. We have four talks, all focusing on details of real usage of FoundationDB. Having a wider list of who all is using FoundationDB would be great. Detailed posts, like those made by Snowflake, Wavefront, and SkewVault on the details of like exactly how they're using FoundationDB and what problems it has solved are even better. Please consider turning your use cases and solutions into blog posts, forum threads, talks, like whatever gets the word out. If you'd like any help in doing so, please feel free to reach out. <clears throat> I think our organization problem can be solved by better indexing. And thus, I'd like to introduce the awesome list. 
a community-maintained official endorsed index of all Foundation B-related projects and posts. Getting content, either code or posts online, is key, but making it findable amplifies its effect. Other communities seem to have solved this before, and I think copying their ideas is fantastic. So Leopold Schabel, or Leo Luck on GitHub, started and added most of the content for an awesome list already. He has generously agreed to, or he generously transferred it to the Foundation B organization. Thank you, Leopold. And I hope for this to become the index that you can use to check and see what projects exist. These are its current headings. It already has a lot of good content. Please add more. Improve the structure. Add it something we've missed. If it's an improvement, I'll merge it. Um, but seriously, like, I have high hopes for this list. I think amplifying and promoting the wonderful work that our community is already doing is vital. There's one other change for our community that I'd like to highlight, which is a seemingly minor refactoring of categories on the forums. The document layer and record layer were reparented under a new using layers category. While this might seem minor, it is an incredibly important change to me because it now allows people to ask questions about layers that are not the uh, record layer nor document layer. A <clears throat> steady stream of questions on some layer shows an interest in the project and shows the common pitfalls and how to resolve them. As members of our community have released more fantastic projects over time, and particularly with accelerating layers work, I'd like to make sure that there's nothing blocking la or other layers from receiving the same level of support as our document layer and record layers have received. And there's, of course, a tremendous number of additional things that could be done to promote FoundationDB's adoption and improve life for the community. We've had a brainstorming session before, which is what this more difficult vision test of a slide is, which I only have to mean there's, there's a tremendous amount of impactful low-hanging fruit. If you are interested in helping but don't know what to do, please reach out. There are more tasks than I know what to do with. Please help. <clears throat> and that's our summit. Um, <clears throat> thank you.